it's not um, possible to prevent all of them, but we definitely want to be uh, ahead of that wave and be able to replace the infrastructure before uh, you know, a large number of them uh, start to occur. Pothole season ended just in time for sinkhole season to begin in Winnipeg, what's causing the cavernous craters. In many cases, it is uh, a failure in a pipe or a catch basin that is below the road. Uh, in many cases, it's uh, the aging and crumbling infrastructure that is uh, uh, um, gradually uh, cracks and, and uh, those cracks, when these cracks widen, some of the material that is supporting the pipe uh, ends up being uh, sucked into the pipe and uh, carried away, and that leaves behind the void. Roads have collapsed above two of these voids in just the last week. A sinkhole on Inkster Boulevard and the one on St. Matthews left ominous holes in the roads. The city of Winnipeg says they don't track sinkholes, but anecdotally, they have seen more voids and sinkholes this year, but it's not considered out of the norm. They say the two that happened recently are in higher profile locations, with more traffic interruptions, so residents took notice. Civil engineer Ahmed Shalabi says it's not unusual to see sinkholes like this in Winnipeg, but as infrastructure ages, more can occur. Obviously, it's a safety hazard. It's something that needs to be addressed uh, quickly, and we're fortunate that uh, there are no injuries. But um, it's very difficult to predict where they happen or how they happen. In many cases, this happens fairly quickly in a matter of hours or days. Shallowby says Manitoba sees substantial frost heave during the intense winters, and that can dislocate pipes below the roads, leaving them cracked. Intense rain events during the spring and summer can then flood the pipes and basins, eroding the underside of the road. He says heavy traffic adds to the issue, and Winnipeg has seen all of that this year. We're coming off of an incredibly dry year and actually a very dry number of years, but then we had a a near record snowy winter on top of that a near record wet spring so the soil conditions changed quite drastically early this year and now that's still lingering with uh, a lot of frequent rainfall events throughout the summer. Weather Logic Scott Kaler says there is a good chance the summer remains on the wetter side, and if we see normal or even slightly below normal precipitation, this will be the wettest year on record in Winnipeg. Shalaby says the city needs to work on replacing aging infrastructure to avoid more sinkholes in this unfavorable weather. As for drivers, Shalaby says sinkholes are often too abrupt to predict, so the solution is preventative measures only. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.